Hi guys, today we're going to talk about thermal injuries. Thermal injuries are injuries caused by extreme heat to the body or the skin. Well, bones are a part of it and that is damage to the skin caused by heat. This can be uh, by dry heat or wet heat. Dry heat is something like a fire while wet heat is stuff like hot water or steam. Burns can be extremely painful and can cause anything from uh, red and peeling skin to blisters and swelling. Uh, to treat a burn, the following first aid is what we advise to do. So the first thing is to get the person away from the source, the heat source. So get them away from the fire, get them away from steam, get them away from the hot water. We need to cool the burn after this. With a lukewarm water, do not use hot water, do not use ice water. No ice, no water, no creams, no greasy substances. Use lukewarm running water for about 20 minutes. Also, we need to remove any clothes from the area. So if the burn was through a jean or through a shirt, the, the part where the burn was needs to remo be removed. This also includes babies for... Uh, diapers remove the diaper from the area if the clothing part is burnt into the skin or stuck to the skin do not attempt to remove it rather leave it um, we need to keep the person hydrated after this the person needs to be hydrated that will help a lot with the recovery as well as the, because during a burn we lose a lot of water after this pain medication can be given to the, uh, the person, usually stuff like ibuprofen or paracetamol can be used. It's a safer way than using stronger drugs. There are three types of burns, three degrees of burns. The first one is first degree burn, which affects the epidermis. Now the epidermis is the outside of the skin. Second degree burn affects the epidermis as well as the dermis. Dermis is the layer just beneath the skin which contains all of your blood capillaries, nerve endings, sweat glands, and hair follicles. Now, third degree burn uh, affects the epidermis, the dermis, as well as the subcutaneous fat, or some people call it subcutis. This is the deeper layer of fat and tissue. Uh, if it is a small burn, a minor burn, we can treat it at home. We just need to keep the burn clean, and we should not burst any blisters. Bursting the blisters allows bacteria to be able to get into the new wound and cause infection. For more serious burns, you need to see a profession, a medical professional. This is for everything from medical burns, electrical burns, large or deep burns, so anything from second to third degree burns, Burns that caused your skin to whiten or become charred of any size. Burns on your face, uh, in your genital areas. Burn Another uh, type of uh, burn is internal burning. This can be happen if somebody has breathed in smoke or fumes. This is an immediate indication to seek medical attention. Some of the symptoms that can include this is coughing, sore throat, difficult breathing, as well as facial burns. Another indication to see a medical professional is if the burn patient is a child under the age of 5 as well as pregnant women. For safety reasons, children under 5 and pregnant women should see them no matter what type of burn. Complications of burns can include anything from shock, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, infection, and scarring. So it is important to seek medical attention before any complications happen.